I would never leave Silent Hill music on. I'm too scared to play the game. <laughs> Hi, King Dragoon. Welcome in. Two Nightmare Before Christmas shirts. Ooh. And do that it slips away from me. I believe in you. Just go over it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Go past it. You'll get it. It'll work. Trust. Trust. You just can't swim with speed until you go down. Okay, so this is Silent Hill 2, the original. Um, so basically, we're at the end of the game. We found out James' secret. And um, we're about to fight a small... Yeah, if you if you don't get it by the end of stream today, I can even take a little video of me going after one probably, but just let me know. Of Animal Crossing is my obsession. Also, this is so okay, it's not funny. But I just appreciate that James is so upset here when this is the third time we've seen it. <laughs> ah! This is the third time we've seen her die. Like at this point, it's like, okay, James, like this, there's like there's clearly something up with this. But yeah, it like, it's, it, <laughs> no, not again. Like you've literally watched her die twice. Like what? And, and what? <laughs> no. Maria! I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. Could have been punished a little harder, to be fair, James. Honestly, but that's all over now. Now it's time to end this. I don't really know. These guys have such long range with their fucking spears. Can I, like, leave? No. Okay. Okay, so my question is, is, like, is it... I wonder if it's a time thing again? Ow! I'm not sure if it's a good idea to punish the guy that is asking to be punished. Just saying James might be into it. I deserve to be punished. Until I found out why I was being punished. Now I feel like... Now I feel like I don't need to be punished anymore. Hmm. That's weird. Two pyramid heads. What's scarier than one pyramid head? Two pyramid... Ow! Oh, I have ten of these. Alright. Drink it up! Yummy, yummy. All right. Ah! Okay, the fact that I didn't get shot there or stabbed, I guess. Oh shit. Okay, move, 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 move. Ah! Two pyramid heads. Four pyramid heads. It's like the Olsen twins. There's actually four of them. Damn it, dude. Get it together. Let's scary than two pyramid heads commitment. The commitment of watching One Piece. Okay, fuck! <laughs> okay, hear me out, just man, I actually did it. There's so many episodes! There's too many! I'm not doing it. 
I didn't even finish My Hero Academia. Oh. Where's the other pyramid head? Did one of them leave or what's going on? Oh no, they're right there. Oh. There's a version that cuts the number down, so you're only getting stuff through manga. And it still took you like a year though. Shit. I took my time though. I applaud your 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 commitment. The thing is, the thing is for me, like, I normally only watch anime that are, like, two seasons long max. For some reason, I don't mind watching Big Brother every night for the rest of my life. The reality TV show? But if an anime is, like, just a little bit longer than a couple of seasons, I'm like, I don't know if I can take it. No, I don't like it when they separate. I'm sorry for joining really late. How dare you join really late? We have, we have a time. Ow! We have a t a time to arrive. And if you do not abide, I don't know. I feel like I'm using too many of my healing items here. Uh, I guess not. I don't know. Oh my god, why, I didn't mean to take that turn. I have to wait for these guys to like get... I do like this song though. There's something about this playing right now that kind of feels... It feels like it feels still melancholy, but there's something that's like melancholy and triumphant about it. Okay, time to leave! No! Damn it, I knew I was gonna- I knew I was gonna die there! I was a One Piece hater until I tried One Piece. I couldn't stop. It was a good time. Maybe one day that'll be me. Maybe not though. Hmm. 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 Okay, I need... Maybe, okay, I'm only getting a few shots in at a time, so maybe using the, the, the whatever this is called, isn't such a bad idea. We'll find out. Don't, okay, listen. Wait, where's the awesome song? Wait, does it not play if you don't let the cutscene play? Oh, maybe the music becoming like that was was a sign I was doing something. I hated the Silent Hill games a few years ago. A few years ago. But you changed your mind? I fucking didn't even hit anything. No! Wait, I forgot to do something crucial! Ah! Okay, so I'm doing this to hopefully make them stay stacked together. Shit. It just- the animation of him holding up this gun is, like, really long. And then putting it down, too. Like, he- he doesn't just, like, let it go. Fuck, dude. I don't know. Maybe the shotgun's a good idea. Sounds like the shots are just bouncing off the metal. Yeah. In the previous fights with Pyramid Head, you're supposed to shoot him? But I don't know if this is just timed or not.
I think I just... Nope. Because it, it's... Normally it would slow him down, but I can't tell if it's doing anything. You can't aim down? No. You can't aim. Maybe in the new version you can do all kinds of aiming, but this is... This is PS2. Do you want to know if it's a time thing? Yeah, you should just tell me. Otherwise, might we end up being here for four hours. It's not you have to fight. Okay. Shit. Poked to death. Okay, I did best with the handgun, I think. I mean, I lasted the longest. I don't know if I did as much damage, but... Ow. Meow. What if we appeal to them with food and fine wine? Um, I don't know. James should really consider that. I don't think he ever considers being nice to people, though. Mostly just at, like, a weird service level. But never truly nice. Ooh, dodged! Uh-oh. No, James! Oh, I died. Oh, I did. Okay, I should have healed. I know James could have teamed up with Eddie if he just offered him Domino's and toilet pizza. Um, I would rather never see Eddie again in my fucking life. Hate that guy. Eddie and James could have teamed up earlier on. But... It was actually James who turned him down, right? He was like, you're going alone? He was like, yep. Fuck okay, Eddie, he sucks. He sucks! We hate Eddie! Okay, so let's do... Let's use a bunch of these. Oh, dodged! Yeah. Oh my god. All my homies hate Eddie. Alright, buddy. Don't- don't do it! Don't- okay. You know, that's why I don't like it when you guys separate like that. Alright, do you remember the rule I gave you earlier? No touching? Thank you. Thank you! Shit. Oh, fuck. Wait, it kind of looked like one of them stabbed the other one by accident. Stabbed with like a spear, and he's like, "Oof!" Oh wait, no, that's a. 
That's pyramid head making the oof sound. What? I can't believe I actually dodged that one. <laughs> no! Ow! Ow! You speared me! Ah! I greatly dislike it when you hit me with your spear! Peer More like spearman head, because cause you hit me with your sp spear. Epic burn. I don't think Eddie was a good person, he'd be a great meat shield. Yeah, it's true. But I'm glad to be rid of him. Do you think they're mad because I called him Spearman? Spearman head? Yeah, he, he took a lot of bullets straight to the belly and he was just like, ooh, hoo, 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 when he was shot a lot, which is crazy. Spearman head. Oh, Jesus, it's tetanus shots, yeah. He's been hanging out in rusty areas, getting stabbed lately. It's not really a good, uh, health-wise. Dude, this is, this is so ass. I don't know. I'm using so many healing items. And I don't even know which ones I'm shooting. Fuck. No! This game's scary. It's scary! No, I'm gonna die! I don't want to! There's maybe an easier time if you stopped glugging down so many beers! What? It's very dark and barely see anything. Do you want me to up the brightness? That's the scariness. So far, no one said they need me to have the brightness. And now we're at the end of the game, so I'm assuming it's okay. Ah, oh, fuck! <sighs> All right. Is there any advice for this fight that I can take? I don't. I don't want to be doing this for a hundred years. But it looks like it's going to be very hard. Oh, cool. Yay. Brightness is goof. Okay. <laughs> the screen has actually been completely blocked this entire series. I just didn't want to say anything. Oh, yeah. It would be rude and, and insult the... Way that you can't see. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Little old me, little old me, James. Ow. All right. I'm just worried because I know this isn't like the last, last fight, so... Ugh. 
Oh, man. We have to fight each other. Come on, to be clear, you want advice from the guide, right? Probably just cut and paste since that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Oh shit. No, it's it's it. They're just, yeah. If there's no like trick, like oh yeah, you just need them to fucking smack their head into the wall a certain way, then and it's just like fighting tips. Like I don't really care. Hunting rifle, fire one to four shots depending on the action level. Whichever pyramid had targets, but don't get greedy. Once you're there, straight out of the way with L1 or R1 to continue to the next farthest corner and repeat. Oh, so basically what I was doing. Always hold L2 when firing at the pyramid head to focus the camera on them. See how close they are. It feels very slow to raise, fire and put down, so take this into account and avoid attacks approaching. Okay. Let's use mixed away with pyramid heads faster by default, limiting you to only one or two shots in each corner for the most part. But on PC hard, they're super fast to the point that it's difficult and sometimes impossible. Okay, cool. We're not on PC, so. When firing a pyramid head, you'll get no reaction from your first rifle shot. The second shot will cause them to flinch backward on normal. Third shot on hard. Other pyramid head will continue walking. It should buy you time to escape from one you were shooting at. Thus, try to focus your aim at the pyramid head closer to you rather than the farther one. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I haven't been using R1 or L1 at all this entire time, so... Fuck. Do you really think the new Mario Party is going to be mid? Um... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. I don't really, really know. I'm hoping it's good, but... Oh, I didn't know I could do this this whole time. Shit. Wait, put it down, bro! Okay, we're, we're learning. Um, how much ammo I have? I feel like I have quite a bit for the... Okay, I have 23. Not including... Ah! Thank you. Hi, Chili! Is it going to be rough? Is that not enough? Okay, hold on. Do you know how much it takes? Yeah, just tell me. It's fine. I mean, you're already alluding to something. So. Fifty hunting rifle and 300 handgun. Does it say about shotgun? Because I have half for hunting rifle that I would need. And then I have 85 shotgun. 134 handgun. It does not on shotgun. Oh. Alright. I don't think I'm soft locked. Relax. Okay, I died. But. But I, I didn't know this whole time that I could actually face which way I was aiming. I've never I've never <laughs> pressed that this whole time. Yeah, I don't think I'm locked. It's just gonna take some practice to get this right.
This can't be as bad as Eddie. Well, Eddie was bad for like an hour, and then once, uh... Shit. Once, um... Aw, oh, for fuck's sake. Back up! No, not the- Oh my god. But yeah, once I tried again on a different day, I did it first try, so. Put it down! Dude! Oh my god. Move, dude. Oh, I died. Okay. This is okay. I'm just trying to get the, the movement down and everything. So I'm not going as hard. You can quick turn around. Okay, that's gonna save me lots of time. Okay, there we go. Fuck. Okay, it's gonna get me. It's gonna take me a while to get used to quick turn around. Oh shit, I cannot. Oh shit. Move, James, go! Okay, I need to be on top of that. Okay. Go, James, go! <gasps> Pyramid head? I don't know. I'm not quite at the skill level where I'm comfortable trying to make- Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Make it. Pyramid head cosplay. Ooh! Oh my god, not the reload. Alright. I died. Okay. Okay, but this is good. This is good. This is good. I feel like my movement has become more fluid and I'm like started to get better. I mean, when you were a kid, was you ever given a second controller that wasn't plugged in when your siblings were actually playing a game? Um, yeah, my brother did that a few times. Um, it was plugged in, but it, you know, he would just convince me I was like playing um, Paper Mario when I wasn't. Um, but he didn't do it to me often. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! I forked it. I took her to- ow! Okay. This is not the round. This is not the round. This is still a practice round. Yeah. But yeah, when, um, we did that a few times. My brother did that to me, but like, I don't think it was very frequent. Cause it was, it was usually just like the two of us, you know? Um, my neighbor though had a, like a three-year-old sister and 
the problem was is like we would let her play Mario Party, but she didn't understand it, and there was no way for us to really explain it to her. So she'd get really upset that she she wasn't like doing well. So yeah, we'd plug her controller in part way, and then let her think she was playing, and she would have a great time. She thought she was doing awesome, so you know. Cause yeah, we we tried to let her play, it just didn't work because like she didn't understand it, and then it was hard against us because we were older. So and she was literally three, so you know. You just give them the half plugged in controller and let them think they're, you know, the normal computer and they're having the time of their life. Nice. No. Shit, okay. I gotta get serious. I gotta get serious. Nice! Go! Go, go, go! Fuck! Okay. I'm ready to take it seriously now. Okay. What the hell? There we go. The 100th attempt. I don't think we're quite at 100 yet, but you know. Okay, wait. No, okay. Hold on. Move, James, go! Go! Okay, I'm just gonna do this for a minute. <laughs> I'm scared, I don't know where they are. Okay. Fuck, man. Okay. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Move, James, go! Okay, go, 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 move. Fuck. Why is water so bland? Because it's our life essence. The essence of life. Should taste simple. Fuck. Life is bland. Meaning there. <laughs> Water is bland for the same reasons houses are getting pa painted gray. Because it needs to appeal to everyone.
Oh, fuck, I'm t totally dead. Oh, wait, no? Okay. Yeah, but at the same time, even the water is, like, gray, you know? Honestly, I think it's better than, than you know, than gray. I like water. You know, I don't always- I, you know, I like drinking things that are flavored. I do. But, you know, there's something about water that's like, this is... This is the essence of life! Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so dead right now. Hi, Mom! I have some bad news. We're going to need to replace your brain. What? Well, you don't like what I said about water? Okay, so I used all the ammo from that. I don't know. We're running out of health items, though. Um... All right, let's try the shotgun. What is fantastic showers? Are oh, yeah, you know what? When you're in the shower and then you just like, you get like thirsty and then you just drink up the water. Yeah. I remember as a kid too, if I was in the bath, I would like have a cup and then I would just like chug water in the bath. Okay, so this one's not... Okay, that was very slow and weird. Uh oh. I was drinking your- No, I would fill it up at the tap, not my own bath water. Shit, I died. Okay, I knew I could do that better. But no, I wouldn't drink my bath water. To be clear, I would get up and get water out of the sink. I had a cup and I would fill that up. And then I would drink, I would drink like colder water than what was in the bath and it would be a very, a very nice experience. Yeah. Sitting in a hot bath with a cold drink. I enjoyed that. Like if she drinks bath water, whatever. Yeah, drinking water while in the bath. Well, it's like how people say, like, uh, drinking- oh, shit. Wait, is that a faster way to do this? No. It just worked out that way. Run, G- oh. Never had an ice bath? Skill issue. Okay, there we go. Move! No! Yeah, I need to try that again. The hot shower into cold water bath in Hawaii? It was something? Oh yeah. Wait, hot shower where you turn your shower into cold or you go into the- you do like a cold- What is it called? A cold dive? Cold... Cold dunk? Would you sign and then jump in the cold pool? Of course. Plunge. Thank you. Cool plunge. Yeah. I wash my hair with cold water and I've had plenty of cold showers. Something where like hot shower and then cold seawater dunk or something. The, yeah, sh I think usually it is called cold plunge, but yeah, it's like a thing for for your immune system. There's a spa where you can do it um, here as well. It's fun. Ew. Although the ocean water is cool. But yeah, apparently eating an orange in the shower is a really nice experience, although I've never tried. I feel like half the time oranges are... are 
You know, I love oranges. They're probably one of my favorite fruit. But when you get a bad orange, it's literally like the worst experience of all time. I think because I love oranges so much, and when an orange is just like dry as fuck on the inside, and it's like completely inedible, and it's not juicy at all, it's just so disappointing that I'd rather just not even try to eat the orange. You know? But that's because I think in Canada, the off-season for oranges is just you get the worst oranges that they, they can possibly they can possibly put on the market. The polar bear plunge? Is that what they call it? Oh, are you fucking kidding? Stop it! Well, when you're in- when you're sitting in hot water, uh, you get drunk faster. Um, cause it- it opens up your, um... It, what is it? It does something with your arteries and your blood flow. <laughs> Apparently there are no known benefits to cold baths. It's basically something that people got place placeboed into. I don't believe that. I don't believe that there would be because there's there's drawbacks to taking hot baths. So even if even if it's not the drawbacks of taking a hot hot bath, that's a a benefit already. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't believe that maybe all of the claims about cold baths are true, you know, cuz I think that sometimes they say crazy stuff. They're like it'll help you lose weight. But I'm sure that the way that, you know, your body responds to the water could be beneficial in some cases. Ow. Ooh. Makes me less sore after a workout, so there's that. Oh, yeah, because what is it? I know someone who did like really intense football and they would be like, when they would travel, they would be like, don't get in the fucking hot tub at the hotels. Because when you get in the hot tubs, um, I don't know if it applies to hot baths either, but it's the way that your muscles end up relaxing can make it harder to perform um, the next day. I don't know when scientists and doctors say that you get the same benefits from a cold shower. Oh. Well, saying that there's no known benefits to a cold bath versus saying the same benefits are from a cold shower is is different, I think. Because saying there's no benefits to a cold bath implies that there are literally no benefits. So, whereas you say there's no benefits that differ from a cold shower is, you know, that could that could make sense to me. Ice baths only during the season, homie. Ice bath. How long have you been Canadian? That's a good question. It's better than bathing with the homies. Bathing with the homies! Okay. We're getting better at this. Yeah. Not born- I wasn't born in Canada, I decided. I mean, you can be Canadian without being born in Canada. But... You know. Damn it. I can be better. Ice bath with the homies, so no one feels the nat the dirty mind. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm skeptical of something that I first heard coming from people who made the goop 
The goop shop? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's it's one thing, too, when you see one article that's like, there are no known scientists that said this, but it's like, no one studied it. And then there actually are studies. You know, like, if it's no different than taking a cold shower, there's still benefits to doing it. They're just no different than taking a cold shower. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I always see Facebook articles. It's like, scientists say that actually v eating vitamin C doesn't actually do anything. And then if you read it, that's not. <laughs> they didn't say that. Oh my god. Oh wait, fuck. Happy Thanksgiving, Bopper. Okay. Fuck! Do this fight! Oh my god. Fuck's sake. But yeah, my pushback on the no known benefits to cold bathing was because you didn't include the part about it being the same as the cold shower. Because there are benefits to it. They're just not everything that some people would claim. Which I think is valid. But there are some benefits to, yeah, using cold water instead of hot when it comes to bathing. But there are also benefits to using hot. It's just when to use it. I think that people kind of overheat themselves in ba baths more than they need to. But also, I have really sensitive skin, so I can't take super hot baths. So... It's like fitness articles, you read all of them, you're gonna get a, end up getting conflicted arguments. Yeah, I think I think the main thing too is if you're really trying to research what what someone's talking about when it comes to something like that, actually reading what the studies were is very helpful because sometimes it'll be like, we did this study and it'll be like the study control was two guys and um they both lived in Minnesota and that's it. And it's like, okay, well that's not a very good control. You know, so sometimes sometimes that I find is what the conflicting information is, is. They did one study that was like really shitty. And then there's other studies that sometimes they're funded by companies that would benefit from the study giving out whatever information was given. And that's always good to look at, too. You know, like if you read a study that's like being vegetarian will actually kill you and then it's like the study's done by big meat. It's like, hmm, yeah, I'm sure this study is completely unbiased. All right, fuck! My pontoon is the leader singer of the Hex Girls. Wow, that's meat. Big meat. Finally done my laundry. 12 hour work shift tonight, so gotta go. Bye, Joseph. Good job doing your laundry. All those sugar studies went by soda. And then, yeah. The other thing is actually reading the study itself and not reading the synopsis on the news site. Most people just talk about reading studies but never actually... Yeah, never actually read this, this study itself. Like, I remember one time someone sent me a study because they're trying to prove that, um... that women have it easier on Twitch. And I, I opened and I read the study and was like, this study doesn't... The study actually says the opposite. Like, did you did you look at the stats that I pulled? Like, it, it has the whole study right here. It's not saying that at all. Like, I don't know where you got this from, but this does not help you. And then they just basically denied it. They're like, no, it says that. And I'm like, I'm reading it right now. And I gave them screenshots. And they're like, well, whatever study you're showing doesn't... And I'm like, this is the study you just linked. This is the... You literally linked me this one. 
You you tried to prove your point with this study, and then you're trying to tell me that it's not a good study, but it's the one you just draw. Anyway. <laughs> People love to do that. I, I I googled, and then I clicked on the first thing that said said something similar to what I wanted, and then I linked it. And then I... when you read it... <laughs> it's not at all. Okay, okay, I gotta lock in! Chad, I gotta lock in! But yeah, if you're ever trying to like really dig into something, just get, just just remember to look deeper than surface. Um, that's all I can say about it. Rules that if you don't have to pay to read the study on a scholarly site, then you're not reading a study. Really? You have to pay to read most studies? Wouldn't that- wait, wouldn't that depend also on what your- what the study is? They pay well a lot of papers because uni students need them. That's fucked up. You can always email the study author for free. Wow, that's- that's- that is a lot of work. But it also saves you money. Made a bagel, what did I miss? Literally nothing. We're just talking about studies now. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. Tomatoes are bad for you, might kill you. New study finds. And it's like, yeah, if you eat tomatoes at like an inhumane amount, like a, a, an amount that you couldn't possibly achieve, it, it could kill you, maybe. <laughs> I hate that shit. I hate that shit so much. Most people read stuff presented as a study that is really some kind of info that some guy with no real training collected and made an article out of. Yeah. I feel like half the time someone on Twitter links his study, that's what it is. It's just like some dude wrote an article. <laughs> Tomatoes are so tasty. Well, you better you better be careful not to eat a million of them in within one hour. Otherwise, it could hurt you. Yeah, I think that what is it? It's the There's it's what is it? I think we talked about it on stream once. There's a fruit or a vegetable that people talk about having cyanide in it, but you have to eat literally like a million in an hour in order for it to ever be a problem. Is it apples? Almonds, almonds and apples. That would make sense. And then wait, is there something with beets too, right? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Yeah, the apple seeds. I always remember hearing that the apple seeds contain cyanide, but not enough to kill you. Because I've definitely eaten a few apple seeds. They're not like particularly yummy though, so. Damn it. You can't even have beets to change color too. That makes sense. Do you have to eat a hundred an hour? Okay, wait. Um. Did I load my gun? Yeah. Oh shit! Move, James. Move. Damn it! I'm always getting stabbed by these guys. No! Two... Three! Fuck! Is 
Was another guy who ate too many bananas and had potassium issues? You have to be careful with potassium, actually. I don't know about bananas, but I know that if uh, I took potassium supplement for a while and two doctors were like, don't do that. Be careful. Because, um, because I don't eat bananas, so I thought I should get potassium supplement, but you get potassium from potato skins also. Ah! But I, I would, I don't know how many bananas you have to eat, but I, if you can take this supplement so much that it could be dangerous, then probably you could eat so many bananas, but probably not an average person would eat that many bananas. Fuck, man. I hope that there's an iframe when I get stabbed twice like that. Three bananas in a bottle sprite was a challenge at a point. Yeah, because apparently it hurt your tummy. Why was that a challenge? Hurt your tummy challenge. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. New trend. Hurt your tummy on TikTok where someone just punches you in the gut. <laughs> okay, we're out of that. Um Oh my god, bro. I keep forgetting that shooting it three times won't do anything now. Uh, this is gonna suck ass. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna try switching to the handgun. Drink lava challenge. No, I said lava. This is so sad. Okay, that was weird. He's not shooting at them anymore. Am I out of ammo or something? What? What? Why didn't he auto reload? That was strange. Okay, I'm using all my healing items. Let's just see. Oh shit. Okay, not the game lagging there. I think the game is great. I think the worst kind of way to add difficulty to a game. I just used to do this stuff for years ago and it just makes things tedious. Yeah, that's I 100% agree. I would say that I like the hard mode, but I don't like and I did put it on hard combat, but I feel like they could have, I don't know, made it a little less tedious. Like this one is like not great, but I think honestly the first pyramid head fight where they just made it so that you have to wait 10 fucking minutes 
was probably the worst. Ow. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I need to like count how many rounds I've used so that I reload it natural style. One, two, three. Okay, move. Okay. Wait, what? Bro! Shoot your gun! He's... Wait, is it me? Like, what? what is the problem here? Okay, I'm not... Okay, it was the pro... Okay, hold on, it is me. They should do something to keep the health reasonable but make the room smaller at a third pyramid head. Add a nurse every 30 seconds or whatever. Yeah, I think they could have done some different stuff, but okay. Hi, anemia, I assume. Welcome in. Yeah, we got the silence of the hills, except for the hills are kind of loud. And also, I didn't see a hill. Kind of, um, clickbait. I'm gonna look at it as an all-around positive. I mean, yeah, I think it definitely could be. But yeah, I, I mean, I really, I do believe, I do, oh. 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 I'm being so serious about the severance, though. I don't know how it works. Where you are, but sometimes that money is uh, very helpful. Oh fuck! Yeah, what do they say? When they close a window, when the clo they when you close a door, the window opens. When when you when when when. Call a draft <laughs> when I hope so, but I get some, but I can file for unemployment and then hopefully short time. I'm not working. Yeah, that's also good. Yeah, if they do it in the correct way, it shouldn't set you up to have the worst month ever. Ooh. I don't know, just open the door again, like window, why? What if you live on the seventh floor or something? Well, you know, maybe you open the, win the window, the door that closed was one that you had open because it was a nice day outside and um, you weren't actually trying to leave. It was just letting in some of that nice fresh air. And so then, you know, when the door closed and the window opened, you know, you were like, oh, I'm still getting that nice fresh air. Stretch that metaphor as far as it can stretch. My boss is scummy, so I can imagine him being scummy about it. I've been here for three years, so who knows? Yeah, Ugh, I hate scummy bosses. The window may be on the thirty-fifth floor with Mortal Kombat style spikes below, but that nice window sure is open cabin. Thank you for the bits, bye, King Dragoon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You take care. You take care now. Yeah, more Mortal Kombat. I mean, you know, if you're Lara Croft, though, 
then a window being any on any kind of ledge anywhere is is good as long as there's an endangered animal to shoot, and that's what I've been saying for years. When you stretch a meta f meta door, you open a whim for. When, when the window when the window computer needs an update, you could try a Mac. <laughs> Even a platypus? That's Lara Croft for you. That pl platypus was trying to bite her, so you know how it is. Come on, you remember Tomb Raider? Or Linux, yeah. Oh shit! Look, the thing is, as long as you end the entire bloodline of a species, is it really a bad day, Laura? It's true. If you end the the bloodline of a species that was, or like you found, you find an endangered species hidden in a cave that was thought to be extinct, and then you make sure it's extinct, then you know that opportunities are a, are a knocking. Oh my god! Oh my god, no way I dodged! Ah, oh, fuck! Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you end up in a better position. Sometimes, sometimes, you know... You know... That, I feel like that's usually how, how the case goes. Like, when you work with a fucking shitter of a boss, right? And it's like, the job's okay. And then, you know, it's it's like, of course, you were never going to work there forever, probably. So eventually it was going to end. And maybe it's not on your own terms, but perhaps it will allow for better things to be in your, in your world. Don't stab me! No, I died! I forgot to heal! I was doing so good. Oh, Mega Man, I'm pretty sure you have to put the quote in quotations, buddy. What was so scary? Venomous spines and finger severing breaks are the stuff of a nightmare. That's right. Yeah, Shman's got the right attitude. The right attitude about it. The do do do. Do do do. Ouch. Yeah, okay, I don't know why it's not working. You're just gonna have to let it go. Did you play the N64 game Extreme G? No. I do not know of the game Extreme G. Sounds like that G sure was extreme, though. Vigilante 8? Nope. Never heard of either of those. Oh, shit. Yeah, come on, buddy. Diddy Kong Racing? I did play Diddy Kong Racing, though. That game is fucked up. Oh! Stop it! Ever heard of elevator action? I love that ROM. Elevator action, no. What is it a ROM for? NES? Ah. Was it just a ROM or was it also a game? Oh my god. All right.
Oh, okay, it was a game. I was just confused because he called it a ROM instead of a game. <laughs> Did you play Gonker's Bad Fur Day? Yeah, I played it literally... Um, during my first year of streaming, so it's been a long time now. Ow! I would definitely play it again. Um, I do- I feel like I kind of remember it. There's definitely things about it that I remember. I played it as a kid, too. But, um... I didn't beat it as a kid, but my brother... I think he beat it. He got to the ending. Or, like, the end part where there's, like, the Matrix references. You still have the card of that? No, my friend lent it to me. And then I'm pretty sure he sold it. Um... But now, now when he sells his, his retro games, he offers them to me first. But that's okay. I'll get I'll get a card of Conquerors bed for a day. Do I always look for a copy of Conquerors live and reloaded for original Xbox? Is that good? Was there were, were the changes to it good or bad? Can you give me one too, please? No. No way, Jose. Get that for yourself. I'm using all my healing items. Like, I don't really know. Ow! Fuck! Ow! I miss when they would... When they would... Have problems. Oh my god, no 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 Um Turok is cool. I'm pretty sure there's a problem with the music in it being uh copywritten. Um or like getting copyright struck, I guess. So it would have to be like a silent stream. It's a possibility, but not a priority for me right now. Okay. Doom 64. I own Doom 64. I definitely want to stream that at some point. I've never played Doom before. I feel like Doom 64 would be a fun place to start. Damn. Okay, well, we're kind of doing well. I think... The handgun's nice because he puts it down so much faster than he puts down the um, hunting rifle. Shit, dude. Nope. I don't know how this is going to set me up for the next phase of the boss fight. I don't like phase. I think there's like a second boss fight that's coming. I don't. Re I don't know if it's technically this is part of a phase. If it is, that's gonna be fucked up shit. But like, I'm worried about not having health items or ammo for what could be another section of a boss fight. Gary's mod, you normally need to own a couple of games. Valve games, right? For like you to get the all the skins and stuff for that, right? Have you seen Doom with the Rock? There's a Doom movie that has the Rock. That's awesome. Is it new or? I haven't seen it. 
You need like Team Fortress and old Counter-Strike. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, you know what was kind of funny? So when I was in high school, I was trying to like make amends with an ex that there was like very bad blood with, right? And so I did, right? We were like, we were okay with each other. And then for whatever reason, for Christmas, he decided to gift me Gary's mod on Steam. I had like two games on Steam. He also knew that. And then I remember like a few months later, he was like, you never play- I saw you never played Gary's mod. I'm like, um, yeah, I, I don't have like, like any games to go with it. So I don't really know how to play it. But yeah, it was so weird. He like confronted me and then I told someone else about it and they're like, that's like a super weird <laughs> gift to get someone when they don't have the other games. Well, like, yeah, I like still don't own any of those games. I think I might have done prop hunt in it at one point in my life, but I don't know if I'm just confusing that with like playing witch hunt or whatever. Here's guitar here with no guitar. Have fun. Yeah. Plus, and then like, it's one thing to get it for me as a gift. Like, I understand. Like, that's fine. But that just be like, why haven't you played it? I'm like, um, how do I play this? I don't know. That was so weird. <laughs> also, I played Gmod was May 4th, 2012. I want you to know that this was after 2012. So if the game's heyday was in 2012, this game was not in its heyday. <laughs> Can I imagine someone asking, why didn't you play the game I got- Well, well, it's funny because that means he, he, like, checked my hours on it. And saw that it said, like, zero. You know? I don't know. I don't understand why- I still can't, like, I forgot about that until someone just brought it up. Like, I don't- why, why did he buy me that? <laughs> it's so weird! For what- for what purpose? Out of all the things. Also, I didn't get him anything for Christmas. Like, we weren't, like, besties, like... <laughs> so weird! No, no, no. Oh my god! Okay, we're good. You have zero hours on Gmod, but 500 on Deep Space Waifu would give. <laughs> it's so funny. Thank you for your lack of Gary. He didn't even. The thing is, is like for the months that we dated, he wasn't into Gary's mod. That wasn't his favorite. I don't- I really- it must have just like been on sale or something? I don't know. You got a free key. Well, it's one thing to give someone, you, you know, a free key or whatever. But like... Why would you grill me later if I'm not playing it? There's something similar to give a gift card to a friend. I can check the balance on the phone app. I was excited to talk about the restaurant I got a gift card for. But never, never go used it. I deleted the gift card from the app. I was getting too obsessed over it. Oh no! I feel like a gift card to a place is a bit different than a game that requires other games to play it. But like, I definitely understand <laughs> giving something to someone and you're like, oh. Okay, so that didn't go well, but I feel like... I feel like I- I- that- that section kind of top- oh. 
Yeah, my controller's having trouble here. Um, taught me how to maybe avoid them a little better? I got my mother a gift card to a spa for like 150 for a massage one year and she never used it and lost it. it was like 10 years ago. I'm still mad about it. No! That sucks. I feel like I always forget to use gift cards. But to be fair, the times like that I'd be giving gift cards, like especially as growing up, is it'd be like a gift card to a store that's like in the mall in the city. And I live in a small town and my mom like didn't have a car. So it's like, okay, I will have to remember this the next time that I happen to be at a mall and have to remember to bring it with me. And then also I won a Hot Topic gift card like almost two years ago. One and a half years ago, and I haven't used it at all. I don't know if it expires or not, but um, I just haven't gotten a hot topic. Yeah, honestly, a spa though. If you got me a gift card for the spa here, catch me getting a massage. I used to shop there until like the late 2000s. That's pretty much, you know, I think that's, um... Because Hot Topic used to be a little bit higher quality is my understanding. So... And then, yeah, late 2000s when it all kind of changed. Hot Topic? What's the topic? Devil worshipping? Yeah. Um... Someone, okay, I saw a message that said someone, like, play, pl tried to play through their backlog and the end message was playing. It wasn't, it's not fun unless you play games you want to play and I feel like that's real. Yeah, I'm not talking shit about Gary's mod either. I, w I would play it if it was relevant and if I had the things to play it. Hi, Renegade! Yeah, not using the spa is, is a bummer. But what can you do? That's the thing about gift cards. Once I bought a gift card for someone and her friends to go to a spa day, like four of them total, she was having a hard time. At, at work. It was all paid for and not cheap. About six months later, I found the gift card forgotten and stuck between two books. So I learned not to buy gift cards anymore. Spa gift cards anymore. Dang. Yeah, that sucks. Everyone wants their gift to be appreciated. Yeah, but... Okay, wait. But in order for me to play Prop Hunt, do I, I need like three games though. That's an investment. I'm sure they'll go on sale eventually, though, right? I mean, they're old now. Do they constantly use the same cup for water 24-7? It's just a fucking red solo cup. Oh my god, no! Wait, I need to check my health. Um, so when you're gonna have a nice water bottle and this shit must be dusty as hell in the cabinet. Yeah, honestly, that's one thing that, like, you learn is that sometimes when people do something weird like that, they're not doing it because they can't get a water bottle. It's because they, for whatever reason, they prefer whatever weird thing they're doing. It's like, uh, I have a friend who hand, like, she sews all the time. She makes cosplays. But she sews everything by hand. Like, with this, like a whole, she'll make a whole ass outfit with a fucking, by hand sewing it, like with her fingers. And it'll take her hours, hours and hours. And, but she doesn't want to learn to use a machine. She's like too daunted by using a machine. So I was talking to one of her friends one time. I was like, oh, we should get her one of those like hand sewing machines where you just kind of like take the machine, you run it across. And then her friend was like, actually, I bought it for her. And she doesn't use it. She just wants to sew everything by hand. It was like, oh, all right. I guess, I guess she just prefers it taking longer. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> maybe one day she'll pick it up, but maybe not. I 
I mean, if you have a friend who loves to read and you know they go to the bookstore, then I feel like a bookstore gift card is a good choice. Maybe it gives her something to do while she's watching TV. I don't know. I think I think it's also related. She has ADHD also, and sometimes I think when you have ADHD, um, just like changing the method of which you do something is like, it's like too much in your brain. Like it, it seems like a giant task for some reason. So I assume that maybe one day she'll try it, but you know, maybe it'll have to be a day where she had like 10 coffees and <laughs> her brain is letting her think that tasks aren't as, as bad as they normally are. I get so many TikToks of this one random motherfucker that does nothing but prop hunt games, really? With other people? You just need Gary Mod prop hunt. Don't need to buy a DLC. But don't in order to do the prop hunt, don't you need like the like the valve like skins and stuff to turn into? It's all like a friend group, but it's, that's what's so weird. Wow, that's awesome. Good for them, though. Yeah, gift giving can be kind of hard sometimes. You have to like really think about it. Oh, I died. Okay, I had a feeling that was coming, but okay. Dude, I don't know, like... Remember right, Gmod was made standalone a long time ago? You shouldn't need any base games anymore. Oh, okay, that's good. So ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. For fuck's sake, this is just shitty. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I had a dream last night that I was trying to host a birthday party and I was living in this house with like, I don't know, a sibling who isn't my sibling. I don't know, some random person. They also had a little sibling who wasn't my little sibling. I don't know, it's a dream, you know, logic. Um, And... There was all these really cool people who were coming to this birthday party and I was like really excited. I didn't know everyone, but I was like super pumped and there was like a pool, but the pool was like upstairs in the hallway. I don't know, you know, slash in the closet, but it was, you know, it was awesome. It was also like a hot tub and um, I wanted, I, everyone came, but, and I wanted to join them, but I was trying to set up the CRT for whatever reason. And I was like spending all this time trying to set it up. And then I was like trying to get my swimsuit and I was like, I was like going and checking on people, but like barely there. And then when I was finally ready to join my own birthday party, everyone was leaving. And then someone I tried to talk to was like, I don't know you. And I was like, this is my, this is my party. <laughs> this is literally my party. <laughs> Listen, I know it's been three hours since you got here and I haven't been able to join, but like, this is literally my party. Thank you for the bits. Have you tried to tell them they are wearing the same thing? They might not be able to see under the pyramid. 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um... Bro totally copied your style. Ever had to do a baby shower for someone? No, I went to a baby shower, but um... No one that I'm like super close with has had a baby yet. So... They just stole your luck! Oh my god... I don't want to get stabbed! Someone I was super close with had a kid, but I had to stop being friends with them recently. Oh, that's a bummer. So I never met the kid. I have a friend who I've been friends with for like years and they've had a dog for three years and I've never met their dog. We stopped hanging out as much and like literally their dog that they've had for so long, I've never met. And they like bring their dog to work and shit too. Like it's actually weird. I'm like, okay. I guess this is the level of friendship we're at now is where I haven't met your dog for some reason. <laughs> like if... Yeah, usually even if I give them knockback, it still ends up with me getting stabbed. Are you keeping the dog? Why don't you want me to meet your dog? Does the dog even exist? Most certainly. They'd have to go through so much effort to fake the dog existing for me. <laughs> that would like cost them money at this point. I just wanted to plan a baby shower for someone. Oh shit. Yes! Okay, we're good. Um, I think by the end of that, they would have rather had the baby shower than deal with the planning. Honestly, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess shotgun. I don't know if the shotgun's as effective because they're not usually that close. So I'm going to go with the handgun. Rather had the baby. Rather had the baby. Rather had the baby than had the baby shower. Dog is Canadian in a different school. You don't know him. I think planning a baby shower is different than just planning a regular party. It would have been easier to go through labor and deal with a child than plan the baby shower, really. Was it because everyone was like, had really conflicting schedules? Because also you gotta remember baby showers, were, like you have like a registry thing and then also there's like, supposed to be games and shit. And like, food. Like, it's like a whole thing. It's not just, you know, you have some friends over and bump some tunes. Will them stay away from all things, baby? Yeah. No, it must be tough, though. Because I think, like, you know, when you're a parent, sometimes you end up with a lot of friends who are also parents, but then getting everyone to actually be able to come to something is hard because everyone has to get like a babysitter or like figure out the situation with their kids or like whomever. It's like a whole ass, it's a whole ass event that's like way different. So I do not envy. But yeah, I went to one baby shower um, two years ago now. It was okay. Um, I think baby showers typically are the women only, but it's I think it's up to the host if they want to invite um, the men to. Th th 
Yeah, they're not even- they're not even showering the baby! Turns out the baby's already clean? Because I'm having a baby shower in November and I probably should R RSVP now because I haven't said anything yet and I just hate baby showers. I mean, yeah. I mean, RSV RSVPing, no, is actually still better than not RSVPing because they need to know how much food to have. Even if you don't want to tell them you don't want to come. Just be like, oh, that day I have, um, school. <laughs> I'm trying to plan a baby shower, but I won't be attending. Oh. Hmm. That's tricky. Yeah, you could um that's a that's how my friend did it. They had like a their registry for the baby shower was like an Amazon wish list. So just buying something off that registry and being like, hey, sorry I can't make it, but uh, you know, whatever. I still did the thing. Do you go to gender reveal baby shower? I don't get the point. I just knew because they organized it. Something the guests didn't know. Couldn't care less. Yeah. Gender reveals can be pretty weird. But I don't know. crazy meeting an old friend with a kid or a pet you've never met an ex i hadn't talked to in like a year wanted to meet up for some coffee once she brought her one-year-old kid and i was like that's wild hope they're doing good she got mad at me when i asked who the dad was like i was supposed to know oh well been crazy since that's weird it's like you haven't been looking at my facebook <laughs> yeah if the gender reveal party doesn't set half the forest on fire yeah if the if the gender reveal party doesn't um, contribute to climate change in a way that only oil companies could dream of, then I I don't want it. Why don't we just spill oil right into the ocean, and then if the oil is pink or blue, that, that'll tell you which gender the baby is. Yay! Oh my god. Then like a year later she had a kid. Not going to lie, I am so stressed over to call the mutual friend to make sure I knew who the dad was. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god! This rose is so nice though. He's like, you know, baby showers are normally girls only. Should I just go in your place? Like, he would do that for me. Aww, that's nice. That's so sweet. Is it a gender reveal party? I don't know. I think it... The point is, like, oh, like... It's... It's, like, preemptively deciding the personality of the baby, I feel like. You know, it's like, oh, will they get ballet lessons or football? Will their room be decorated in pink or blue? You know, I think that sometimes it's not so much like that. But like, it's, you know, I really hate the ones where like people get way too excited when it's not a girl, you know? It's like, you know, maybe that little girl would have been cool as hell. Like, you don't know, like, damn. She could end up liking stuff that you like, like what? Come on, man. <laughs> Angel's friend was pretty upset she was not having a girl, actually. Uh, like, I kind of get it. I do. I do, and I'm not a parent, so I don't know anything, right?
it's it's got to be so different once you once you you know are actually in that position i just have no desire to have children so i i can't i can't relate to these concepts your parent though you got chili yeah i got my cat Okay, I gotta I gotta go supo mode. I gotta eat some lunch, so um, we're gonna take a quick break, and I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> 